want to share with you in this video is the power of social selling and the power of social media and specifically with Facebook. Now many businesses tend to just put up a picture on Facebook, walk away, they get no engagement, no people interacting and just really nothing happens. Well we want to show you how we do it differently and the power of social media and how we can get people into your doors and interested in your product or service and sharing this with their friends and family. Now here's an example of a cupcake shop that's located in Florida. Now when we post posts, we try to make sure that we, in, we are posting posts that encourage engagement, encourage conversation. Now the difference is that when somebody comments on a post, what we do is that we reply back to them. And the purpose of that is that we want to build a relationship with your potential clients as well as your current clients, right? Because relationship building is big. If they feel they have a relationship with your business, they're going to keep coming back and they're going to share your business with their friends and family. Now here's an example of a post of one of the cupcakes. You can see there was 22 people that liked it and it had two shares. We have right here showing that this is my daughter's favorite and we responded back. Hopefully we see you in the shop soon. Now that is something called social selling. So we are planting the seed in their head that we want them to come and visit the shop. We're not like salesmen doing a hard sale saying bye, 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 but we're building a relationship and casually socially selling to them. Now here they can't wait to come back to get cupcakes and we say we're looking forward to it building that relationship. Now you keep going down, this one is excellent and this is exactly what we want. So we've now introduced these cupcakes to a new potential client and they're asking where is it located, right? We tell them where it's located and confirm the location. So hopefully this is a new client that's going to be walking into the doors. We have people here just confirming that they love it. So here is a great one as well. I believe this is a wife tagging her husband and he's saying that he's had it before. Thanks for tagging Danny. She's, we're so happy that you love it. And he says that my wife just surprised me with some cupcakes for our anniversary. What a great, great post right here. So this is just an example of building that relationship, right? So they feel like they're family when it comes to visiting this location. Now here's an example of they had a four year anniversary party and here we posted some pictures from the party but the part I wanted to point out is that we respond to every single comment that is left on the page. Now as a business owner you probably don't have time to do that, right? But you can see right here we respond to every single one ensuring we're maintaining and building that relationship. So here's another one. We did a post on caramel cupcakes. Here she's saying that it's her favorite her, my favorite flavor of caramel and says, will you be stopping by to get one? She said, I think I'll come by today and get my usual coconut and pineapple and try the caramel too, which is exactly what we were trying to get across. So she's saying she needs to get there and say, we look forward to seeing you. So building that relationship and we've now opened her eyes into trying the caramel flavor. And then we also create posts that encourage people to tag their friends or to share things. Now the purpose of that is to get your business out there more on a more viral nature. So here, cupcakes make a great gift. Tag a friend and let them know they should buy you some cupcakes. So here we have people, 44 people liked it, one share, but here it's they're tagging their friends and having a conversation around it. Right, so here's another one, tagging her friend, tagging your friend, tagging friends, here, here, here. So once again, it's getting the business out there and exposing it to more and more people. Now look at this one. This was a voting contest. So they were able to choose between A or B. There were 38 people that liked it, but look at this comment. She says, I'm upset I just saw this. I would have came right after work. And it says, not to worry, come by tomorrow. And we also introduced her to a discount of 15%. She said, awesome, I'll be there for lunch, which is exactly what you want, right? Because here we're incorporating that social selling. So hopefully this was a great example. It was short, but it was able to show you the power of what Facebook can do for your business, exposing your brand, introducing it to other people, getting more awareness, keeping your current customers by building relationships, introducing new customers, and then doing social selling to actually get them into the doors. So once again, social media is very powerful. You just have to know how to do it correctly to really maximize the return on investment.